I think that this was very interesting for me because I come from a background of ballet and very contemporary and very uh, squadred thing. And then it's the um, last two years that I'm exploring and searching for new kind of movement and meeting, meeting Everald, it was very good for me because I, I start to think in a different way of movement, another one different. And so I, now I understand that maybe there are one other 100 way, different wave of movement, ways of movement, and I want to learn it all. <laughs> okay. So thanks, Ever. Everaldo, toda vida. <laughs> How do you think that a multicultural um, experimental dance company can contribute to the evolution of dancing? Um, I think it's really important at the moment because uh, dance it should be open to everyone. And as we demonstrate today during the workshop, the warm up at the beginning with the company class, um, the class it was open to anyone, anyone with the skills in dance and with none. I think it's really important because Everaldo tried to mix. Uh, technical um, movement with people with some more folklore that I mean being in Spanish we had salsa and things like that it was really tricky to get into the Brazilian because Brazilians they use a lot of chess where in Latin like salsa we use a lot of hips and um, I think it's interesting that, that use all these things because I think for me everyone could be able to do these, these things and um, it's really open for everyone outside to enjoy, to enjoy it. And I think coming from a country that dance is a part of us as Brazilians, it's interesting that you can see that you really enjoy it and it's really social and it's fun and kids can do it, all the people can do it and everything. I think it's really interesting and I really enjoy it as well. Do you um, incorporate capoeira movements into the dance choreography? You've worked with, um, with Veraldo to set up this, uh, this show, how it was? It? The collaboration is very special. I've known Everaldo for more than three years now. This is the first time we actually got to work together for more than one session for a whole week. So we could explore a lot. We, last week when we did a whole week of events, we explored so much. And the more you explore, the more you get to know what you can give. So within the capoeira, within the dance style that Everaldo practices, is huge. There's no limit. There's no limit. So you could pick up one little thing and develop. So. It's huge, 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 huge. So the relevance of a work like this for dancers, for um, performers, for people who play capoeira, even for the ordinary people who just wants to do a session to relax, de-stress, get fit, is, 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 the relevance is major, is amazing. And you do have um, students from everywhere around the world. Yeah, no, no, no. And I think by fusing capoeira with dance and breaking down from the traditional capoeira and breaking down from the tradition of dance, we can even open to more people, more horizons, people who have never done dance, people who have never done capoeira, they can feel like there's something special in what we're doing and try. Você já, já tinha contribuído para alguma, algum espetáculo de dança e, e como que essa aproximação em termos de percussão, qual que, é, qual que é a influência que isso pode, você acha que isso pode ter no seu trabalho? Bem, na verdade, não existe dança sem música. Então, a música é uma coisa que inspira a dança e, de uma certa forma, a dança inspira a música. Então, não existe essa coisa de dança e música. É uma única coisa, a arte. E, nesse caso, o contemporâneo brasileiro significa dizer que a música com a dança sendo brasileira e dois brasileiros, o coreógrafo e o músico, andam na mesma direção. Então, para mim, é um prazer saber que pessoas do nível de Everaldo está representando a cultura e o nível de artistas brasileiros aqui em Londres, na Europa, que é uma porta para o mundo. Uh, qual é o sentimento de representar a Ima já a Rainha dos Mares em Londres? Poxa, é uma coisa muito forte e é difícil de se explicar, sabe? Eu não teria palavras para poder expressar isso, porque é algo muito profundo. Porque a Ima já é dona da minha cabeça, né? Eu não sou diretamente ligada a um candomblé, mas o candomblé é minha herança ancestral, uma religião ancestral. E jogando os búzios eu sei que sou de Ima já. E é para mim muito, sabe? Muito lindo, assim, estar tá aqui fazendo, meu Deus, um papel tão grandioso como esse, né? Da rainha, da mãe, de todos os orixás, sabe? Transmitindo energia, paz, e dentro de Londres, sendo da Bahia, principalmente, tá vindo trazer um pouco da minha cultura, para mim tá sendo maravilhoso. E, assim, fico super feliz de ter me encontrado com o Everaldo, e ele tá me dando essa oportunidade maravilhosa de estar tá fazendo esse tipo de trabalho aqui em Londres. 
Tô super feliz.